Hello, welcome to SQL02Pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the basics of data modeling. First of all, what is data modeling? Data modeling is the process of exploring what kind of data needs to be stored and then finally creating the data structures accordingly. Okay, so in short, data modeling is about looking at the environment and then extracting the relevant entities from the environment relevant to the application that you are developing and finally you will end up with the right tables okay so after studying the basics of writing select statements and some other SQL statements I think it's time that you should learn what data modeling is because the problem is most people finally get to learn how to write SQL statement but they don't know why the table is created and why the structure of the table is uh, created in in, uh, in specific way uh, you have to go through a process called data modeling before you finally create a table you just can't create tables um, and give and uh, create columns in the table according to what you uh, like what you're feeling there is a process that you go through and you finally create columns uh, based on the outcome of that process okay so the bottom line is that I'm going to show you the right way of uh, going through the process of uh, exploring the environment and then extracting the right uh, entities from the environment before you finally create the tables okay so the bottom line is that um, what you do is first you list all the relevant entities in the environment okay in coming tutorials I'm going to tell you what entities are in short entities are uh, things of importance in the environment not all things are imp of uh, importance are relevant because uh, uh, what you need to take a look at what kind of application you are developing or what kind of software you're writing right you're creating a back-end structure for some kind of uh, application so there would be tons of entities in the environment but only few will be relevant to what whatever application you're writing so you list all the relevant entities and then you list all the relevant attributes of that entities that would be needed in the in the software that you are developing for example uh, the employee is an entity okay? employee is an entity department is an entity and for example another entity could, would be a warehouse of a company which might not be relevant to the software you're writing you might be only writing a software which would be managing employees and departments so you will not include the warehouse in your list of entities now you're talking about the attributes of an entity we can talk about attributes of an employee so em employee can have tons of attributes okay employee would have a phone number would have a home address would have a work address uh, for example the software you're writing is, is not uh, going to manage the home addresses of the employee so that would be out of scope of the software so you're not gonna count home address as, as uh, in the list of attributes that you're creating for each entity okay so this is just a summary of each step I'm giving you at the moment because we need to explore each of this in detail in coming tutorials once you have all the list of relevant entities and uh, list of attributes for those entities then you need to find out what is the relationship between the entity there could be three relationship between the entities one to one one to many and many to many you need to really find out if there is any relationship and if there is then what kind of relationship is that 